today, starting with bringing down 12 other consulates and consul generals for meetings at the American University of Sudan. أمر الرجل في بكارس القالب كسرتاب كونوايكي جرين كتعيد دونزا قنصلي قشتي ولا تبيانية كان تعيد بجداري بون وأمكو بنوايان لازم في أمريكي للسلماني. We started with meetings at the American University of Sumania. We had the 12 other consul generals and their representatives. Our guest speaker at lunch was the Deputy Prime Minister. And I just came from a meeting with uh, a cop, Bafo Talabani. To talk about U.S. I care relations as well as the just the general business opportunities that are here in the Sulaimania and Alaska. In my family tradition, uh, you don't need to, you do not show up late. So I wanted to take a moment before I give my speech to apologize for running late this evening. And I also want to thank you for coming out on this fine evening. I did not expect such a large crowd, so I hope that I don't bore you with my remarks. So I'd like to first thank the Governor Abu Bakr, Governor Tawfiq, Mayor Mohammed, and Mayor Nassiz for the warm welcome. Also, the presidents and members of Sulawesia and Alabama Chamber of Commerce. I also want to thank the colleagues and friends, and also the team from the U.S. Consulate General here in the KRI. My name is Irvin Hicks, Jr. It is my honor to serve as Consul General of the United States of America in the Iraqi Kurdistan region. I am elated to visit the great historic city of Salonia for the third time. I would like to thank the Salonia Chamber of Commerce for organizing this event. President Sirwan, as well, thank you for the warm welcome. I want to recognize the presence of the Labja Chamber of Commerce as well. And I look forward to visiting Lapcha tomorrow, which will be my first visit. My deep, deep, deepest thanks to Sheikh Fakir and the Rotana Hotel for co-sponsoring this event and for making my team, as well as myself, feel welcome. Before I became a diplomat, I was an executive for General Motors Corporation covering the Middle East and Africa. My experience in the business world taught me the power of the private sector as it has to drive innovation, create growth, transform societies. Since my arrival in the IKR, I have been impressed by the opportunities I see to strengthen the U.S. IKR economic relationship. Expanding trade and investment with the IKR is one of the Council's top priorities and is a big part of why my team and I have come to Sulmania and will be going to Halakcha tomorrow. U.S. companies are already well represented in the IKR in sectors such as energy, hospitality, automotive, consumer goods, franchising, food processing, and manufacturing. Some of these companies are based right here in Sulamani. In fact, we are joined tonight by several members of the American Chamber of Commerce. I see my good friend, Dori, my brother from another mother, Dori Abazin. So, ciao. Uh, so I encourage you to say hello to them and hear about the American Chamber of Commerce, how it's advocating for stronger U.S. IKR ties and a better business environment. We think we can do even more business together. We see great opportunities to expand this partnership. One area of particular interest is the agricultural sector. I'm pleased to announce that in June, between June 18th to the 20th, the concept will welcome a farm to four trade U.S. trade delegation sponsored by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. This trade mission will bring U.S. companies to the IKR, seeking partnerships in agribusiness and the agricultural value chain. 
agriculture is crucial sector for Slovenia and Malaysia. And so we see this visit as a great opportunity to involve many of you. We will share additional details as we receive them. Of course, business isn't the only thing I'm focused on here in Slovenia. We're here to advance our shared human rights agenda as well. Human rights including freedom of expression and the rights of women, minorities, and other marginalized groups are essential to a healthy democracy. For this reason, just this morning, I convened a group of 12 Council Generals and representatives of the diplomatic community to discuss human rights in the IKR at a very, excuse me, at a very successful symposium at the American University of Slovenia here. Human rights and press freedom form an important element of the investment climate. American investors in particular value the innovation and creativity that flourish in societies that are inclusive, diverse, and respectful of differences. Human, human rights matters to all of us. Once again, thank you for the warm hospitality and for attending this great event. And my team and I look forward to meeting you and chatting with you, so spots. Thank you.